वेलकम टू सुब्रमणी प्लीज सब्सक्राइब प्लीज हिट द बेल आइकन नाइस टू हैव मोर सब्सक्राइबर्स सो हियर इज अ क्वेरी एंड आई हैव आई वॉन्ट टू आंसर दिस क्वेरी ऑन क्रिएट अ वीडियो आई एम फोर्टी नाइन ईयर्स ऑफ एज माई वाइफ इज थर्टी नाइन दिस इज क्वाइट अ लार्ज गैप पर हैप्स नॉट एन अरेंज मैरिज पर हैप्स अ लव मैरिज आई एम नॉट वेरी श्योर आई डोंट हैव टू आज दीज क्वेश्चन्स एंड वी हैव टू किड्स एंड वी हैव 3.8 पॉइंट एट क्रोर्स इन सेविंग्स एंड आई ओन द हाउस फुल्ली पेड एंड दिस हाउस वुड बी वर्थ अबाउट फाइव क्रोर्स मस्ट बी अ मुंबई और अ डेली रेसिडेंट एंड मस्ट बी इन अ रिजनेबली एक्सपेंसिव काइंड ऑफ लोकेशन बिकॉज इज ओवरऑल नेटवर्थ हाउसिंग इज प्रिटी बिग आई अर्न अबाउट अ क्रोर एंड ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट टू क्रोर्स अ ईयर माई वाइफ इज अ टीचर अर्निंग अबाउट फाइव लैक्स सो बट आई लूज अ लॉट ऑफ स्लीप वरिंग अबाउट टुमोरो कैन आई रियली रिटायर राइट सो येस टू किड्स यंग किड्स दे आर नॉट वेरी ओल्ड दे आर स्टिल इन स्कूल दे हैव नॉट इट गॉन्ट टू कॉलेज इज गिवन देयर एज समवेयर आई एम नॉट वेरी श्योर एंड look at what he is saying i have a good career in technology i make about 1.2 crores a year i uh, max out ppf for me and my wife i do sips which are reasonably big uh, this 3.8 crores plus i have some esop but i am not taking that esop into account because the company is not yet listed uh, we also have uh, some rental uh, properties uh, i have uh, some property which is given out on rent one of them inherited from my father and one which i bought so they got he's got two houses which is giving me about 60000 per month after all expenses so 60000 rupees per month is is uh, uh, is is uh, income from uh, you call it passive income and he of course has some mutual funds from where which are all on perhaps growth plan and uh, my monthly expenses uh, monthly expenses are in the region of One and a half to two lakhs, uh, which is, uh, I mean, a lot of it must be school fees, etc. And uh, now, with this, he has, he still has uh, some questions, right? So, largely, when a person of this of this age, his biggest worry or her biggest worry is, what will happen in the future? What happens if the market crashes? That is a fear which almost everybody has. So, the questions are. what if the market crashes and doesn't come back typically people like me have seen the 93 to 2002 thing so what happens if the market does not come back for 8 years uh well the question is many of us today don't believe such a thing can happen simply because uh whether it's a biden or a modi or the rbi or the fed somebody will interfere because no uh, investor today has the ability patience or the grit to take a 8 year fall so i don't think you should worry too much about this 8 year fall or a 9 year fall but i can guess from where you are coming you have been part of a, a bad market or your father has been part of a bad market or a crash so yes this is a fair question but i think you should let it rest and not worry too much about it because worrying about it staying up all night means this wealth is not helping you you have enough wealth right you are not going to starve ever Uh, unless you do something amazingly stupid with your money like giving guarantees to a friend or a brother or a sibling and finding that that person is defaulted and the government has taken away or the lender has taken away your assets if you don't do anything stupid like that i don't think that is going to be a problem for you to worry about make sure you have adequate medical insurance something like that can also cripple you even with so much of money if you spend 1 crore on some liver transplant or liver or uh, treatment of the liver yes that can um, hurt you so have adequate medical insurance and since you are employed and your company is giving you medical insurance at least till the age of 60 or wait till whatever time they keep you you don't have to worry about it what if inflation is much higher than expected yes of course inflation is much higher than expected in the us in fact i never thought i would live to see the date when the inflation in the us is higher than the inflation in india but it is true right it is happening you don't have to worry too much about it till you are employed after you are employed you have to make sure your asset allocation consider uh, consists of enough equities to take care of inflation and debt to take care of your day to day needs right Uh, what if i lose my job every techie is worried about losing his job or her job 
make sure that you uh, know how to manage your money make sure that your if your wife has given up a career in tech to come back to tech right so it uh, it should not be an easy option of saying oh i am a school teacher because it is less demanding if you can get a good job if the husband and wife both can get good jobs and earn say a crore each that is much better than only the husband earning 2 crores and the wife not earning does not make any sense so make sure that you are uh, sure that your wife knows how to manage the money and if possible a career because it will give her more confidence more views on the world uh, more uh, interaction with others etc right so that's always useful uh, what if the uh, us economy goes into a terrible recession and therefore indian it industry also goes into a recession that's always a possibility that there will be hard landing soft landing you're only for you're in your 40s right so you have a long time to go you may be working for another 20 years right so during that period can things go wrong yes they can go wrong how to fight it how to handle it is what we have to do we cannot say sit and pretend that it won't happen it could happen right what happens if i pick a wrong advisor what happens if i pick a wrong investment both are bad and uh, as you get more and more experience you will realize that the portfolio can be as simple as you wish maybe you just index it and say okay i don't want to take risk my risk taking time is over so i will put money in an index fund and i will put some money in debt if my esop gets uh, n cash that be fantastic so right now you have no loans or anything so i don't think at this number you should be worried you are definitely in india's top 5% maybe in the top in india's top 2% in the kind of wealth that you already have so am i saving enough that's a question again very difficult to answer because uh, there are some people who don't uh, spend much on their day to day activities but they take expensive vacations there are people who take very cheap vacations but the day to day they eat out uh, more than four times in a week or three times in a week and that can be very expensive and related to that the quality of the places where you shop for your dresses for your other suitcase or any of those small things the question is what is the lifestyle that you are running and are you happy with that lifestyle and uh, is this money enough for your retirement those are the three four questions and not judging on uh, oh you should not be spending so much because if you do not know the complete pnl balance sheet of uh, anybody is very difficult to answer so yes i don't know but yes if you if you think you're spending much more than what you should maybe you are but i have no clue about that other uh, uh, question is asked is am i saving too much answer is uh, what are you going to do with the money if you're going to spend it and you're worried about it you're going to save it you're worried about it both can't work right so you have you need to earn money you need to spend money you need to pay taxes you need to invest there is no escaping investing because you're still in your 40s but having said that you should understand why you're investing in equities etc you don't understand just go and put money in an index fund that is much safer than trying to learn which is the fund manager who will beat the index continuously every year thank you